Mary Catherine Hamm, Brian Wilson, Brian Neiman, today's newsmakers, and you, the morning majority. AM 630. 7.37 on the morning majority. It's Friday, almost time for football. Trevor Maddish is here to talk about the Redskins. How's it going, Trevor? Great, Mary Catherine. How about you? I'm good. I uh, get to go to the game on Sunday. Really? Yeah. Friend nice. Of, friend of mine who's a 49ers fan ended up with tickets, <laughs> so I get to go with her. What, am, what do I get to see? Is there any way the Redskins can stop the bleeding this Sunday? I don't know. I, are you going to wear a Redskins jersey or a 49ers jersey? Hmm. You know, I haven't discussed that I with wear myself either, yet. I either. The, the colors are very similar. I could maybe get away with fudging it. I'm just kidding. Actually, I, don't, you're right I, have, to, no, I haven't decided yet. Flash if you sit next to somebody with the other jersey. That's a good point. Right. You know, stopping the bleeding this week, Mary Catherine, uh, is a tough week to do it because the Redskins have struggled on offense, and this, uh, this defense of the 49ers leads the NFL in allowing the fewest points per game. Wow. On the other side of the ball, the Redskins' defense is struggling to stop the run. And Frank Gore, the running back for the 49ers, is one of the league leaders. He's a big, powerful, fast, bludgeoning back who's difficult to tackle. And it's just a bad matchup for the Redskins all around. Sounds like my friend will be happy. Uh, yes, your friend probably will. But just make sure that, that your friend buys you dinner afterwards, right. not, not the other way around. Hey, Trevor, how, how did this happen with the 49ers I'm talking about? I mean, they were they were a bad team for a lot of years. Mike Singletary was the coach and, you know, quite frankly, didn't get it done. But I don't think anybody expected them to turn it around this quickly. And, you know, do they have, you know, better players this year than last year? Or is this all coaching? Is this all John Harbaugh? You know what? That's a great question, Brian. And I, the thing I think is that they um, it's a combination of both. It's been eight years in a row since they've had a winning record. So they've drafted fairly high, and they've drafted fairly well. They just never put it together. Now, Harbaugh came in this last uh, off season, did not have the off-season workout programs because of the lockout. So everybody thought that the 49ers would really struggle with their new coach getting acclimated to his new team that way. But here's what he did. He simplified everything. Instead of installing a whole bunch of complex schemes to prove that he's the smartest coach in the league, he simplified it to allow his players to play faster. Then you take those good players that they drafted, put them in a scheme that was easy for them to understand and play in, and then you add the, the last piece of the puzzle, which is the quarterback, Alex Smith, who was the first pick in the draft a few years ago. Well, he struggled his entire career there. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, he's performing better. And you put all those things together, and the 49ers, all of a sudden, are the young, tough, talented, hard-nosed team in the NFL that everybody else is looking to to emulate. And it can be done in a year. I mean... Well, uh, yeah, you know, and I, I know where you're going with that. Yeah. <laughs> <So in the> end, <laughs> Why can't it be done in a year around here? No, no. It can be done in a year if you've got the right personnel. And, you know, they just have to come together and click. The Redskins personnel, if everybody stayed healthy, could come together and click. And we saw that with the 3-1 and one start. It was actually heading that direction. But then they had a bunch of injuries, and, and they're not good enough to overcome that. The 49ers are fairly healthy. Let me ask you about John Beck. Now, look, everybody will, will grant this, that in the last game, the son of a gun, he, he just didn't have a chance. I mean, he got sacked ten times, which I think is a franchise record. Yes. But, but, I mean, here's a quarterback that we have, we have put in place um, who is zero and 0-6 in the NFL. He's never won a game. <laughs> well, hey, let's get rid of them. This, uh, well, I mean, but I mean, really, I mean, uh, at some point, it, 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 it sort of looks very, very sad for this team when you have a quarterback who gets sacked repeatedly. You got no front line to protect him, and he and and he's never, ever, ever put one together. But he's also played for the Dolphins and the Redskins. I mean, that has something to do yeah. with it. I'm yeah, you know, for him. That, I'm glad, Brian. No, no, that I mean, that's what I was saying. I mean, well, I mean. You know, Troy Aikman was like, what, 1-15 in 15 his first year, right? Yeah, the, the thing about, about Beck is that the first four losses were in 2007 on a Dolphins team that went 1-15. Okay, they fair had enough. already tanked, and he was a rookie, so I can't hold those against him. The, the 10 sacks, I, I went back and looked at the tape yeah. uh, of this last game against the Bills. 
and broke down those sacks and broke down the running game to see what's happening. And we'll go over all that on the pregame show on Comcast Sportsnet on Sunday. Well, and what's the headline out of it, though? What do you but see? The headline out of it is this. At times, John Beck looks like a savvy veteran quarterback who knows exactly what he's doing and exactly how to beat the defense. He's decisive, he's sharp, and he's accurate. Now, that's the quarterback that's been in the league since um, 2007 and the quarterback who is 30 years old, for goodness sake. But at other times, Beck looks like he's lost. He looks like he doesn't know what he's seeing. He doesn't look at the right receivers for a long enough time. He turns his head right when they're coming open to look for somebody else who now is covered. And because of that, he stays in the pocket for too long as he's trying to work out his confusion, and he gets sacked. So you, that's the quarterback who only has six games in his life in the regular season. So really both of those John Becks, the good back right. and the evil back, are completely natural for this time. And what the hope is is that as he gets game experience under him, the bad Beck will recede and the good Beck will continue to ascend. And that's what the Redskins hope. Well, i got to tell you, one way or the other, I think you – are one of the luckiest guys on the planet. Because, whoa, Nelly, you're headed to Tuscaloosa for the big yeah. game, right? Yeah, Alabama, LSU. And you know what? There are some people that say that when Alabama plays LSU on Saturday, there will be more NFL talent on the field than when the Redskins play. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. I wouldn't say that, but, I'm, but I'll, I'll certainly put you in quotes on that. No, no, no. no. I, I, I don't agree. With that. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, yeah, just, you're just you're just throwing out a good line that you're not going to agree with. I see how you are. That's right. Right. That way, I get to say the line and get it out there. Without but not, but not claim it as your own. Yeah. Right. yeah, you should yeah. be in politics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I learned well in Washington. <laughs> All right, Trev. Enjoy uh, enjoy that game. We'll talk to you on Monday after the Niners uh, Skins game.